Hey everyone, my name is Christian DeLupa, here for PC Mac, and today we're going to be taking a look at Mozilla's latest uh, mobile operating system, Firefox OS 2.5. Now the software itself is designed to be an Android killer, and to help push the operating system, Mozilla has released a version of the software that essentially acts as an Android launcher, meaning that anyone who owns an Android phone can test it out. The version is a developer preview and can run on most Android devices today without any trouble. Now the first thing to note about the new software is the home screen, which is a little more like iOS than Android because of the fact that apps are listed and can be moved around to suit the user's preference as far as things like app order goes. By default, users will notice three app columns. However, users can change this to four if they want, which is something that definitely suited me better. With three columns, it seemed like app columns were a little too big for me and there weren't as many apps on the display as I would have liked. Even with four columns, the icons seemed a little large, however, it's more bearable with four. One of the main things to get used to when using Firefox OS is the fact that it, like iOS, uses one single home button. On a phone with Firefox OS installed, that's probably a little more obvious. However, considering the fact that I personally am using a developer preview, which acts more like a launcher, things like the back button and the recent apps button still appear on the screen. They just don't really do anything. This is fine considering the fact that the launcher is meant to al allow users to test out Firefox OS rather than to use it permanently. However, it definitely led to some confusion. Users can also swipe to the right from the main screen showing a list of pinned pages. This is basically a list of favorite web pages that can be accessed quickly and easily. The ability to pin websites as an app is also meant to have a much bigger role in Firefox OS compared to Android. Using the browser app, users can pin websites, not web pages like before, to the home page, with the icons looking like any other app. This further blows the line between an app and a website, however it's not totally a new feature, and is something users can do on Android through Chrome. It's important to note that the developer preview, as a developer preview, is rather buggy. For example, at one point, Chrome and Gmail disappeared until I tapped on the blank space where they were meant to be. Another time, the whole developer preview crashed simply while I was searching for an app on the marketplace. This is something that users should be aware of going in, but not totally unexpected given the fact that it's a preview. Something that I did really appreciate about Firefox OS is the ability to search from any stock Firefox app. When a user is in the app, they simply need to tap on the top search bar, which will be displaying the name of the app at the time, and a search bar will appear. Apart from the basic user interface, the Firefox OS developer preview also comes with a number of apps built by Mozilla. These include the likes of phone, messages, email, gallery, music, video, browser, marketplace, settings, and usage. Now most of these apps are self-explanatory, which is something that I liked about the operating system. Most of the apps, however, did not have as many features as their Android counterparts. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially for those who want some simplicity and just want to make a call using phone or go to a website using browser. For those that like to tinker, however, which is likely to be many people who use Android, Android might be a better choice. It's important to note that for this review, I used the developer preview of Firefox OS 2.5, and I did not take things like add-ons into consideration because of the fact that there's so many add-ons out there and it would be difficult to look at them all. Despite this, add-ons are an important part of Firefox OS. Add-ons are already an important feature for many web browsers, however they don't normally play as important of a role in operating systems. That being said, the Firefox Marketplace is where apps for the operating system are found, and unfortunately the service is nothing compared to Google Play. Google need not be worried. While I haven't played around with the previous versions of Firefox OS very much, it seems as though the operating system is a lot better than previous iterations. It's still, however, not an Android killer. For almost everyone, Android is still the better choice. For those that want simplicity that just works, it's possible that Firefox OS might be the right choice. However, that remains to be seen on phones that actually have the operating system installed rather than the developer preview. From what I could tell, if you wanted an operating system that just works, get an iPhone. Firefox is an interesting start, but it definitely has a long way to go. Thanks again. My name is Christian DeLupa here for PC Mac, and we'll see you next time.